So it is Friday morning. VBS is officially over. Um, it went great, but definitely, definitely glad it's a four day, not a five day. Really, really just needed today. Sorry, I'm getting reminders. Okay. Anyway, just really needed a down day today and I have half a mind to stay in bed all day, but um, I doubt that'll happen. <laughs> so just not planning on leaving the house today at all. Um, like I said, I, I would love to just sit here in my bed all morning. It's, I don't even know what time it is. Uh, oh, it's nine, like exactly nine o'clock. So um, went down and made myself a smoothie. It's like super pink today. I was out of a lot of stuff, so it's pretty much just cherries and blueberries and a lemon um, and some dates. But anyway, so I'm trying to get my laptop up here. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, BBS was wonderful. It it went great. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I think the kids had a great time and learned a lot, but it's definitely exhausting. I don't have my glasses on. Okay, let's see. So... Oh, I can see a little better now. So yeah, it's it's exhausting, it's especially like for an introvert. Like it's a lot of talking to people, kids and parents and church family, great people, but it's a lot. So I'm just gonna stay home today. I don't have any need to go anywhere. I don't think. Hopefully, um, I could run to the school today. That's a maybe if I really, really get a little wave of energy or feel ambitious later, but. Um, I do have a lot of things that need to be taken care of at home. I need to place master club orders. It just kind of dawned on me that not this Sunday, but next is the master club, our first training meeting. So I really need to get that outline done and ready to go for training. Um, so I just have, I do have some things I can sit right here in my bed and get on my computer and work on, which is what I'm going to do for the first bit of this morning. I do want, I am now that kind of VBS is over, I like am on like, okay, cleaning. I'd like to get, um, because the house sort of got neglected this week with so much going on. So I'd like to get some good cleaning done, organizing, laundry. So I don't know. We'll see. Between today and tomorrow, we'll see how much we get done. My van's a mess. Because every night things just kind of got dumped in there. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. I will. I don't know if I'll get to the kitchen today. I might. I might get at least to the kitchen today later and do um, get my canisters back up on my counter and filled up. And may do a little uh, kitchen tour just to kind of you know, show you, I went through it the other day and got all the cupboards cleaned out and got rid of some stuff. I do really need a grocery shop. So you'll see some very empty cupboards probably, but, um, I'm gonna have enough to get through today. So I'm not going today, but, um, yeah. So maybe I'll give a little minimalist kitchen tour later on today. And here is what I will be dealing with today. So yesterday was pretty much just a flop. <laughs> Nothing got done. I needed a day of just I shouldn't say nothing. I did work on some stuff on the computer in the morning, but yeah, other than that, it was like, yeah, pretty much nothing. Lazy, lazy, lazy day. So now that means today, my downstairs, yep. Lest you think my house is always clean. <laughs> my downstairs has exploded. So yep, that's what we were doing today. And I'll take you along. All right, so we had just, I guess, a couple weeks ago, maybe not quite two weeks, we had moved the kennels upstairs in our bedroom and thought we'd give them a try up there. However, they look good up there. They fit really well. Um, but a couple issues are um, the Atticus can see us and hear us and thinks he needs to be in bed with us. So he whines all night, whereas before he was sleeping through the night down here fine. Problem number two is in a smaller space that gets a little warmer. That looks cute. It's a little big on you, but we just need a white, that's cute though, a white tank top, I think, to go underneath it. You have a white tank top? I think you do, yeah. So turn to the side, yeah, yeah, because it's a little low on the side. Oh, and it's really see-through, hmm. Okay, take it off, I'm gonna have to decide on that one. Anyway, yeah, anyway, so, um, and it just, it smells like dog in my room, and that's making me a little crazy. Oh, get that hat from him. <laughs> Take that into my room. That was a little bit funny. <laughs> Are you trying to be out of it? Yeah, I'm trying not to be in the video either because I look a mess. But yeah, we're, none of us want to be in the video right now. <laughs> we all are just like waking up in mess right now. Anyway, so this is kind of our first project this morning is getting the desk moved back over there in front of the window and then bringing down the kennels in our room. Sorry, I'm not getting you in, Lauren. Don't worry. 
Um, yeah, so kind of a bust. It's nice because it really opened it up down here, but oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully when we buy a house eventually, we'll have space for those kennels. Okay, I thought I'd share with you what I put in my canisters since that was a question. Um, my dishwasher's a little noisy, sorry. So the canisters are all filled back up again. Um, we use them a good, uh, almost all of them for our VBS um, general stores. So in this one, I, I need to rewrite the labels, obviously. So we have brown sugar, just plain old brown sugar, nothing special. This one is flour, and this is kind of have the bag stuffed out so you can see what we use. I really, really like, um, let's see, I have a couple red mill stuff here. I really like Bob's Red Mill brand. So this is um, flour. This one is from the commissary. Um, I do think they have an organic flour that I get from, usually from Costco, but I picked this one up the other day. And then I have rice um, in there, brown rice, and that is this five pound bag. Oh, just kidding, 12 pound bag. I thought that looked awfully big for five pounds. So this is the five pound bag of organic short grain brown rice that we get. That's a large one. Next we have sugar. I use the Kirkland brand organic sugar from Costco. And then the last one are um, quick cooking seal cut oats. So use those for oatmeal, for baking, um, that type of stuff. So that is what is in my canisters. Now in this one, it has been up in the past and I usually put, I think almond sugar or almond sugar, but yeah, almond flour in there. I don't know if I'm gonna use it right now or if I'm just gonna keep those up. I'm not sure. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that one yet. So we'll see. So that's what's in there. So I'm almost done. Um, got that basket that goes upstairs. Living room put back in order. Got that all cleaned up. It actually bothers me less out here than it did before. Kind of funny now that I see it back again. Um, dining room area is all done. So I'm working on the kitchen right now. I thought I'd take off the island with a hot mess. Um, what's up, kid? Hmm? Okay. So I thought I'd take a minute and just kind of, I have all the cupboards organized. So I'm just gonna go through and show you what's in my cupboards. And we kind of keep it as minimalist as I'm comfortable with anyway. So, um, so all the canisters, and I keep my mixer up here. So here is now, of course, some of the dishes in the dishwasher. So obviously all glasses down here. We are, <laughs> we normally like to have about four of these large jar cups. I think three have been broken, two or three. Anyway, I need to get some more of those. Those two shaker bottles, I can't decide what to do with them because we're not really um, using doing protein shakes anymore, so I don't know. I might end up getting rid of them, can't decide. Big water bottle that doesn't fit anywhere else. And then over here, we have our plates and our bowls that we use the most often, the bigger bowls, and then we have the small bowls and the small plates. And that is it up there. At one point, you'll see in one of my videos, we kind of had everyone setting separately, but that just didn't work out for us, so. Right here, junk drawer, I go through this every, like this needs to go into the garage. I go through this every so often, um, oils and yeah, just junk, random stuff. It's all stuff we use, but doesn't really have a specific location. So I like having a junk drawer. You know, some minimalists do not. This is our utensil um, drawer. Sorry, there we go. So we have, this is not on the fit, there right, right now. Let's turn this around. Okay, sorry. So we have knives. These usually stay out there. So my kids put stuff away. You never know what's gonna end up where. So knives, can opener, meat thermometer, potato peeler, ice cream scooper, um, rubber spatula, rice scooper, lime squeezer, measuring spoons and cups. And then these are the cooking utensils. And we use every single one of them, so we've kept them. Um, so, but that's, that's it, that's what we have right there. Um, it can be a little snug, but I like it all fits in one drawer. Down here, we have, so pots and pans on that side. Um, we have one pan that's on the stove that I need to clean still. So we only have three pans, a wok. It really, or not, not like a huge stock, but pretty large. And we do have one small, it's over there in the dryer, like my husband's camping one that we use for very small stuff. I love this set, got this at Costco recently, um, three different size drainers. And we have three large silver mixing, bowl, or excuse me, two large silver mixing bowl and one small one. Um, and we do use those, so. And then our uh, lids, which a couple of them must be in the dishwasher. We have like, I think three lids. And that pie dish actually does not go down there, but no, it doesn't. I'm gonna put it back where it goes. So 
Those are three casserole dishes, one or two nine by 13s, and the other one's like an 11 by 14 maybe, I can't remember, and then the three lids that goes on them. And I'll show you over here. So above the uh, stove, we have a couple different kinds of oils, coconut oil, a couple things back there behind it that we don't use very frequently that we bought for recipes. Salt and peppers, olive oil, olive oil spray. We use these uh, as the only paper type napkins or towels that we have in the house. And I don't necessarily want them, but we use them to oil the uh, cast iron pans. And so they are convenient in that way. All my spices are on these racks. This is what? I don't know, but just leave it alone. It's working fine in here. I don't know. Just turn it off and leave it alone. You don't need to be turning water on right now anyway. Yeah, that's weird, but I don't know why. So just wait, okay? Okay, anyway. All right, so I keep my our butter in this dish. I don't really like butter dishes, but um, this one keeps it covered. So I like that. Spices along the wall there. That's a little recipe book. Which do oh, you can get something there. All right, and then, so we don't have a pantry in our house. So I use this cupboard and this cupboard as our pantry. Um, it's a little bit better right now. And honestly, they don't get real full. We don't do a lot of processed foods and stuff. So um, every now and then, you know, like a can of chili for chili dogs, but we've got, so a few box items, um, that there. And then the top one is pretty much all baking. So you see that what I showed you that goes in our canisters and the big bags are all back in there. Okay. All right, turn it off, please. We don't need the hose on. Um, so we have all the baking type stuff. Pretty much this whole thing is baking. The sliders that I never got to last night. These tortillas actually come down here. So down here are usually bread, snacks. Um, the big rice one thing is back there. Peanut butter, the dates that we use in our smoothies, and you know whatever else fits in there. And this small cupboard is our medicine cupboard. Cup cupboard. So we have a thermometer up there, an extra medicine container that we're actually using right now. So what I'm gonna do with that. Um, We've got some, this is Manuka honey in the back and vitamin C, and then just some random meds. We try not to keep too much, but some of my kids are on meds. So, okay, put that down there and that down there. Um, sorry, I'm looking to see what these are real quick. Okay, so anyway, um, and even dog meds. So, and some vitamin D. And then down here, there are currently three of us in this house that are on meds regularly. So those are in the pill bottles there. And we have this little Lazy Susan cupboard. So we've pretty much gotten rid of most plastic wear. So here's where this pie dish goes. Um, oops. So all glassware up top, it seems to hold it okay. It makes me a little nervous sometimes. I'm trying to balance it a little bit more. Let me this more up here for a couple of plastic bottles that we have there. Anyway, so these are our pie dishes and pretty much Tupperware. Um, we use this Snap, Snapware, I think we got it at Costco. Yeah, Snapware. So these are the lids for that. They're plastic and I really like those. Plus we have some of like these from Walmart. Down here, the only thing really plastic that we use are our bento boxes that I've talked about before for lunches and stuff. And then we do have this huge bin, which we like and often actually we put watermelon, I think the most in that one. So. We do have a few plastic. So that's that. We've tried that for food, but I just don't like it being down below. Uh, pot holders, that kind of thing in there. This is a little bit of a mess and I need to go through it again. Oh, that was really loud, I'm sorry. When you have kids putting your stuff away, there's just no telling what it's gonna look like, but this is basically um, cutting boards and cookie sheets, cookie sheets and muffin tins. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can really do about that. We use it all, so it is what it is. This probably, well, no, I think I did clean this out fairly recently. So dish stuff, we keep Melody's hair stuff down here because we usually wash her hair in the sink because it's easier um, since I need to do it. Yeah, this is just your basic stuff. Some vases down there for flowers. We have them, vinegar, dish soap. And this is kind of our coffee area. So coffee pot. Anyway, coffee pot and then mugs go down here. Obviously they're like all in the um, dishwasher. So we have, I think eight 
We have a total of eight mugs. Um, I saved these little ones for winter time for hot cocoa. I'd like to get one more for the little kids. I have two of those. Anyway, travel mugs, coffee, coffee grinder, and our coffee and a thermos. And that's what's up there. Let's see. All right, here. Yes. Can we go to a tree down there? Down where? It's not that far. It's just right there. Can if I? If you go in the backyard, if you look over the fence, yeah, that's fine. Right. Don't stay there too long. That's fine. Go ahead. I'll look out. It's a little bit next to the rock, but not that far. Okay. As long as you're not crossing any roads to get there. Okay. All right. So this is the silverware drawer. And a couple of my like so apple core um, and. I don't even know what this is called, but bread cutter type deal. Anyway. Okay, right, right. Please stop. Okay, stop. Does that mean you say it over and over again? So, sorry. Anyway, so a couple of those that don't fit in the other drawer are stainless steel straw, silverware, and then we have a, um, what's that called, y'all? Um, an electric carving knife that we only use for Thanksgiving unless we have turkey another time. This drawer is rolling pin, a couple parchment paper, aluminum. I don't know why this is currently in here, but okay. Um, a few baggies. Actually, I think those came out of the tent trailer. I do have a couple reusable. Well, I had two. Oh, I think I'm using one for school stuff. So a reusable bag. I want to actually get a bunch more and really do away with this completely. Um, I use I do, I've tried coffee without sugar. It just doesn't work. So I do use the organic stevia. I get a big box of it from Costco and just stick it in this. Coffee filters, birthday candles, and a scale. And that is it in there. And then the last cupboard is my appliance. Oh, there's that shoe. Huh. Look into the other one. Okay. So the last cupboard is my appliance cupboard. So on the left here, we have the blender. We have a house with more counter space. I probably will leave that out because I use it daily, but we'll see. I don't know. So blender, rice maker in the back, waffle maker up front. Down here we have um, food processor and in the back bin are all, are all attachments to it. These are all the attachments to the mixer that's up on the counter. And in here we have a pitcher way in the back that I use every now and then. Crock pot, um, what's that called? Dutch oven. Okay, see, this is what happened. Kids put stuff away. So, crock pot, obviously. See if I can do this one-handed. Okay, maybe not, so I'll put that away in a minute. But anyway, so the crock pot in there and there's nothing behind that and then the toaster. And that is all for the appliances. Get that away and I think that's, you know, normally this is completely clear off, which I'm gonna be going through except for, well, I was using this silver basket, which I'm gonna be getting rid of. But I just got these off of a, I got two of them off a dollar auction site. Um, so fruits will be in there and the other one has a plant over there. Right, something cute on the front, a verse or Bible verse or something, um, or a cute quote. And then I guess the only one would be this cupboard. I hate these cupboards. I can't even reach it. <laughs> see, I don't even know what's in here. Um, oh, it's an extra. Oh yeah, so this is the stuff I used to make um, lotion a while back. I'm not sure why we have that milk jug. Oh, it probably has grease in it. Uh, disposable pie tins, ice packs. I feel like I hear a dog whining. What's the matter, Nico? Oh, Atticus is in his bed. Um, and an extra flower pot, which I'm probably not gonna get rid of because it's just gonna sit there. Yeah, so that's it. That is everything in my kitchen. Um, everything has a place. Like I said, to me, it's pretty minimalist. Um, as you see, like, especially that cupboard, we still have spaces in there, but yeah. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, so I realized I never ended my uh, video yesterday. Um, I think I showed you the kitchen. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. My daughter's driving. Oh. Anyway, and oh y'all, Washington weather has returned, I'm and so we're actually happy. pretty excited about it. <laughs> so it's gloomy and rainy. Oh, okay, stop. Yeah. So you're going over this one. I was thinking if this stops on your turning. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna help her. <laughs> yeah. So stop. This is her first time. I think you're, you look clear on both sides, as far as I can tell. I look too. Okay. You don't look yeah. for me. Well, yeah, I do. <laughs> I think it was the first time really driving in rain. Really? Uh, second time. Okay. We were before in a, thorn, in a storm. In a storm. Okay, so I guess she has driven a little bit. But yeah, it's all of a sudden coming down really good. Now the next stop sign, you're going to make a right. Anyway. Windshield wipers before. Yeah, I know. I need new windshield wipers. Anyway, so um, yeah, yesterday I think I basically I finished cleaning and then that was it. Just kind of 
hung out and benched the rest of the day. So um, today is Sunday and we just got done with church. Um, got a somewhat busy day ahead of us still. We have church. Um, we just had a potluck afterwards, which is always amazing. Um, heading home and we'll be, Lauren is actually gonna go babysitting, going to be babysitting overnight um, at some friend's house. So she's going over there this afternoon, a little bit later. Um, and then we'll be there all day tomorrow. And so we're gonna go home, hang out for a little bit. Then my husband and I have to go back for a staff meeting and a like a training meeting, one at 4.30, one at 5.30, so busy afternoon. And tomorrow we are going to the beach. And if all my friends are okay with me videotaping them and their kids, then hopefully we'll do a little YouTubing or vlogging there to put on YouTube. So thanks for coming along. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Say bye. Bye. bye.